this isn't giving me like a crazy pumpkin vibe. Wow, nasty. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Matt. What's up? Welcome. So first off, we're gonna pretend that the hairdresser didn't cut my hair this short. But I am so excited for this video. I tried to film it last week and it didn't really work because I just had a lot going on. But also, it was like 80 degrees every single day and I just wasn't in the fall vibes that I need to be for this video. So we pushed it back a week later and here we are. Now it's like 55 degrees, gloomy out. It's the perfect fall day to start this and I just am so excited. So I've been wanting to film a week long challenge type of video, but I just wasn't sure what I wanted to film and when I wanted to film but I thought that this would be the perfect way to start. For today's video, I'm gonna be trying different fall coffee drinks every single day for a week. I will probably end up doing five days instead of seven, so I'm not a full week, but that's still like a school week for me. So I think that's the way it's gonna work. But if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that all I drink is black iced coffee. That is it. So I thought this would be fun, not only to get into the fall mood, but also to see if I like any different coffees because we're gonna be trying flavored ones, hot ones, which I never drink hot coffee, so that's going to be interesting. Today is day one, so let's go get our first drink. Okay, so I just picked up my first drink, and I don't think I explained this when I started the video, but I'm gonna try and switch up the places that I get the coffee from. So I'll probably end up repeating places closer to the end of the week, because I'm trying to think of coffee places right now, and I can literally only think of three near me. I'll have to look it up. So for day one, I got, in my opinion, the most iconic fall drink there is. I went to Starbucks and picked up a pumpkin spice latte and I've actually never had one of these before, not even iced. So this is gonna be quite an experience, an awakening. Whew. I don't know why I wore a sweatshirt. It's actually a lot hotter outside than I thought it was. My weather app must have been broken or something. So it's not the fall day that I thought it was, but cheers. Let's try this drink. Wait, hold on, let me get another sip. First impressions, it's really good. It tastes pumpkin-y, pumpkin in -y. It does taste like a pumpkin flavored drink, but I'm getting more of like a cinnamon type of spice. And I'm a big fan of pumpkin flavored things. I love all of that stuff, but this isn't giving me like a crazy pumpkin vibe. I don't know. I like don't know how to explain it. I think that if you like cinnamon, then you'll like this drink because there's not like an overpowering pumpkin. Okay, like Matt the Coffee Reviewer 101. What am I even saying? But, but yeah, this is really good. Pleasantly surprised for day one and I will see you guys tomorrow with the next drink. <laughs> Hi everyone, so it is officially day two. I was just in Cafe Nero for the past few hours working on homework and studying. That's been one of my favorite things to do this year is go to a coffee shop and do my work because I'm so much more productive than when I just sit in my house, but it works out perfectly because I'm filming this video this week and I was just in a coffee shop. So I went ahead and got my second drink. It's super gloomy and rainy today and they were blasting the air conditioning in there. So I'm freezing. So I got a, another hot drink. This is is absolutely unheard of. I never ever drink hot coffee drinks. I'm absolutely freezing and I was actually looking on the Cafe Nero website before I came to look at any fall drinks they have and Cafe Nero is definitely a more like traditional coffee shop so there wasn't really any festive crazy drinks but I got a chai latte because in my mind that kind of equates to like a fall drink correct me if i'm wrong but i've never had one and i feel like that just i don't know it gives me the fall vibes. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this tastes exactly like 
Teddy Grahams. This is so good. Why am I suddenly gonna be ordering all hot drinks? Like usually during the fall and winter, I just stick with my ice stuff, but I'm gonna be a changed man after this. It's only day two, so I've only had two drinks so far, but this is definitely my favorite of the two so fall, so cinnamony. I'm never gonna be able to say that. Cafe Nero was definitely a success, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. I just got in the car to go get my coffee for the day and a few things. So last night, what I forgot to tell you guys was when I went to Cafe Nero in the afternoon, I got a coffee right when I started my homework because I love doing that when I go to a coffee shop. I just like get my drink right away and then get down to business doing my work. So I had coffee and then I got the other one that I showed you guys um, because I wanted to try like the fall one. But two coffees in that span of time just did not work for me. I was going crazy. I felt so anxious. Thank God I had spin last night. So I at least like was able to work out and get it out of my system. But I was actually going crazy after that. But I've been thinking about that chai latte like all day today. It was so good. And I was a little bit nervous because if you know, you know, I am a very picky eater, drinker. I never like switch up what I eat and drink. I just kind of stick to the basics. So I was nervous but it was so good. Yesterday's problem was that I drank too much coffee. Today's problem is that I'm drinking coffee way too late. I didn't have any time before school this morning to go get it and then I had too much to do this afternoon so it's like 6.15. Yeah, this isn't good. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, um, can I have a small iced cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte? Thank you. That's gonna be it. Thank you. Thank you. You too. So when I looked at this drink online, because again, I was prepped and ready to go, I was planning on getting it iced because I had my two hot coffee days in a row and I was just ready to get back to my roots. And I'm pretty sure I just ordered it iced, but they gave me it hot. I even brought my metal straw. I was so ready to go, but I guess we're gonna have to settle for this. I got a, yeah, I have it written right here that I got an iced cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte. Honestly though, hot coffee is kind of a vibe right now. It's all rainy and gloomy again for the second day in a row. I have my big comfy sweatshirt on. Cheers, let's try this. Okay, so first off, Ow, I just took a big gulp and it's so hot, but this drink really isn't doing it for me. It kind of just tastes like an off-brand version of the Starbucks one that I got on the first day. I mean, it's definitely good, but not my favorite. I definitely look so creepy right now. I'm wielding a metal straw drinking coffee at 6.30 p.m. in the middle of a parking lot speaking to a camera. Love it. Duncan just didn't do it for me with this. I think it definitely would have been better iced. The lighting is getting so bad, but I am done with this. I will see you guys tomorrow for day four. Let's get it. Okay, day four, I finally got my iced coffee. I have my metal straw here, which I know is a lame excuse for sustainability because I'm using a whole plastic cup, but I feel so weird bringing in my reusable cup to other places because the one that I have is a Starbucks one. So I feel like that's so awkward if you bring that to like a Dunkin' or another coffee shop because it like shows that you're I don't know. I need to get just a plain tumbler cup that I can bring anywhere, but at least I have my straw and look how freaking pretty this coffee is. What? For today's drink, I went to this place called Pete's, which I think is more of a local place. I don't think it's like a crazy nationwide chain, but I've driven past it a few times, never gone in, never gotten anything from it, but it's so cute inside and this drink looks unreal. So I've been raving about that chai latte that I got at Cafe Nero the other night. So tonight's drink is, let me read this. It's an iced pumpkin chai latte. So I'm so interested to see what this is like. Honestly, at this point, I don't really care what the drink tastes like because it's so pretty and the fall colors just, that's it for me. But I'm hoping that it's gonna be good because I spent almost $6 on it. Okay, let's pop this in. When you first take a sip of it, it's really good, but then the aftertaste is nasty. It's so sweet and it doesn't taste like pumpkin or anything like the chai latte that I had the other night. It kind of tastes like 
gingerbread almost. Oh, this is just not it, but at least she's cute. Definitely my least favorite out of all the drinks that I've had so far. Maybe tomorrow we can turn it around for the last day. <sighs> okay, I will see you guys tomorrow for day five, the final day of this challenge. Hopefully it's a little bit better than this. <laughs> We're here day five. I was very unoriginal today and I went back to Starbucks, but there is a reason. I think the universe knew I was filming this video this week because I have been seeing this drink everywhere. So many people have been talking about it. I've seen it all over social media and people are just loving it. So I wanted to obviously end this video off with it. This is the new pumpkin cream cold brew and I'm very excited to try it. It smells amazing and it's ice too. So that's always a plus. <laughs> There's a special guest in the car who's gonna watch me test out this coffee. Oh my God. Yummy. It tastes like whipped cream because obviously it's cream, but like then it's pumpkin, then there's coffee and then there's ice. Well, that is the ingredients in that <laughs> drink. Oh, this is my fall drink right here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Also with the drink, I decided to get a little snack today. This is my favorite thing ever. This is not something new that I'm trying, but it's the pumpkin loaf from Starbucks. It's an OG favorite of mine and I ate it all throughout my six months on Dairy Free because I'm pretty sure that it doesn't have dairy in it, but that'd be- Let's check the app. <laughs> You're gonna expose, I'm gonna get exposed right now. That is gonna be so awkward if I eat this. this Egg, whole... soy, wheat. So... Perfect. So I, it You're actually good. is dairy free. Yeah. So that's officially it for this week of trying different coffees. If I had to pick one that was my favorite out of all the ones that I tried, it's definitely this new one from Starbucks. Highly suggested. I hope you guys enjoyed this and definitely go out and try the drinks that I tried in this video. And if you do, shoot me a DM on Instagram so we can talk. My Instagram is always linked down below and I'll put it on the screen too. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't or if you're new and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.